Just as Nyongesa is the director of RESEP, an initiative that is impacting the lives of young women and girls through mentorship and training programs. I come from western part of Kenya, uh, that is Kakamega County, Mumias, uh, where I took my primary education in Halaba Primary. Then uh, I emerged the, paying the best in my primary school, having scored 519 points out of 700 by then. And then I proceeded to Lubino, St. Paul's Lubino High School, where I took my Form 1 to Form 4. And then uh, from Lubino, I came to Nairobi, that was 89. After completing my Form 4 in 89, I came to Nairobi and then I happened to land in Korokocho, in informal settlement, one of the informal settlements in Kenya, uh, where I found a lot of challenges and scenarios I had never seen in my life. <laughs> uh, I caught a lot of challenges, especially among the youth. Uh, most of them were not cooperative enough. And I realized uh, they were involved in different fun activities and mostly marking, snatching, stealing, stopping, all sorts of things. And the girls were involved in prostitution, supporting these young boys to carry sophisticated weapons to other destinations in the form of carrying the baby. So it was so funny and so scaring that I felt I should go back home because I'd never seen such kind of things happen. <laughs> to date, I'm still there from 89. To date, it's around 30, 31 years. I've remained in Korokojo just to find out exactly what makes these young people behave the way they're behaving. So by remaining there, I just wanted to see what can change and what's happening that cannot make a change to happen. And then, uh, fortunately, the Comboni missionaries arrived in 1992. So those felt the same when they saw these young girls uh, getting pregnant, doing a portion, prostitution, and just doing things which were really uh, unethical. So they also failed it and they came up with a pro-life movement. Uh, this movement was to protect these young girls uh, from involving these activities and then engage in a protective way of doing things. So we were part of the team with the combined missions deployed uh, to find out exactly how many young people were pregnant, how many had done abortion, and what effects that uh, they were really undergoing through. So around 1994, they started uh, a High project. This Kuteteo High project was to bring on board these girls. Uh, unfortunately, boys were not involved. Uh, but the girls who had those challenges in life to come and then get skills. Uh, because some of them, they were using uh, these contraceptives. Uh, like, uh, we had three cases uh, which were taken in Nazareth. They were using copper tea as a way of family planning. And then when they were giving birth, unfortunately, they happened to get birth when they were having that, those kind of devices in their body. So it is stuck in the head. So they were undergoing operations at Nazareth at a cost of uh, the missionaries. It was very expensive. Insertion might be free, but removing becomes expensive. Some were using bills, uh, which made them also uh, have complications in the body. So after a certain time of doing this job, uh, missionaries come and go. So they left around two or five, the most prominent ones, Father Alex, Zanotelli, and Sister Mother Jeterio, they left. After leaving, those who came, 
they found that they cannot do any training in Korokocho because people are very poor. And this course entails a lot of materials, a lot of equipment. And now our girls, our community could not support the missionaries. So as a result, they relocated from Korokocho. So which means they abandoned Korokocho to remain the way it was. So, but because we had uh, involved in the same process, we felt, no, we cannot leave our young girls remain the same. So we took up, uh, we took up the task and started uh, RISEP, Rescued and Improved Community Environment Program. Uh, one, we were a team of five. Uh, this was my wife, Beatrice, who was really out. Uh, it was one of the teachers who was trying to transform these girls. Uh, myself, we had uh, uh, Barasa, we had uh, Patrick, uh, we had Lillian. So we really came out and said, no, we cannot leave our community perish. And then we went and the registered a CBO, uh, which we named it as RISEP. Uh, that is Rescued and Improved Community Environment Program. So re officially we registered in 2012, just to take up the task and now the government know that we have freely come out strongly to bring out some change in our community culture. So when we started, uh, it was a bit challenging because we didn't know we could really pick up. Because missionaries had a lot of resources. We don't have resources. So we just, it was a trial and error. For the first year, uh, we had a massive recruitment of around 65, the, both teenage mothers, single mothers, and girls. So when they came on board, uh, we used spiritual guidance through the Piper, we use uh, life skills. We uh, deployed some experts in life skills who came and just brought about total behavior change uh, for three months. And then after first year, 2012, official registered, 2013, 14, and then we picked up. After picking up, we saw really uh, we could also make it, although with little resource we had, but with the goodwill of our community, the neighbors, and some well wishers, uh, we started, and up to date, we are still transforming the same. From hairdressing to tailoring, the organization equips their apprentices with various hands on skills. <laughs> Uh, tuliamua kuwa na hii course kwa sababu kwa community yetu tuliona wasichana wengi wana drop shule wakiwa na mimba wanazaa wengine wana drop shule juu ya school fees na wanaenda town kutafutia kwa njia ambayo si mzuri sasa tukaona hao wasichana vile wamezaa na wako na watoto tufanye nini ndio tukaamua tuweke course ambaye itaweza kuwasaidia in future ambao akishajua kila kitu awezi omba watakuwa na ujusi yao na ni ujusi wa milele watashuka wakitengeneza pesa hii kazi yetu within 3 months unaanza kushuka ukitengeneza pesa na tunaona wamama wengi wanapenda mapambo wanapenda urembo sasa awezi kosa pesa hata shilingi 50 kwa siku awezi kosa Sato kwa ona hiyo ni njia mzuri, hata kama hamezasa, ingine boyfriend hame mdambu hapo na mtoto, hame muacha. Sasa akisha jua hiyo ujusi, atafute kazi, ama hata anaesa shuka kwa mlango, anasomesha mtoto, anamtafutia chafula. Hata wengi washa nunulia wazazi wawa hata manyumba. Niko kwa kikundi inajiita bega kwa bega. Ya hiko korokocho bega kwa bega. Kusabu imetoka ngambo ya korokocho huko slum area tunafanyia hapa. So tuko na hii beadwork, tuko na tie and eyes, tunafanya size of baskets. Tuko pamoja kusabu mara mingi kuna wasichana wale wanakuja hapa, wansaidua kuinua maisha yao, 
kuna wale wanaingia shule kama hiyo hair dressing kuna wale wanakuja pia pande hii wanajifunza kazi ya beadwork so kuna tuko na ushirikiano mzuri kwa sababu tuna kuna wale wasichana wanasaidika sana na wakitoka hapa kama wale wamefanya hizo course za hair dressing wanaenda wanapata kazi kwa saloons just as says the community's reception of the initiative has been welcoming uh, the criteria we use is a simple method one we use our local judges because they normally say that the uh, spirituality is for the poor so you'll find so many poor people in the church and that's what we believed and because of our church course we felt uh, this are our target group so we used to announce in the church uh, those with young girls teenage mothers single mothers who are doing nothing they went to school maybe they never succeeded to complete class 8 form 4 or they completed but they have no other way out instead of turning to ways which can ruin their life we felt it's important they bring them to us and then after that long process and also we use these uh, village elders the chiefs parasas also gave us a lot of support uh, and when they gave us support they really came out strong and said what you are doing was very important and they send a word to the community members around in the chiefs parasas and we caught a number of them unfortunately they were not sponsoring them so when they came we felt you cannot really turn them away so what we did i remember for the first time we made an arambe where we involved the chiefs the church uh, community leaders and we get some equipments uh, to cater for them but what we do when we first engage them into our program uh, what we normally do is to 